kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you? More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the um, And your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that kooka. You know, I'm a little more strict with what I'm I'm looking at. Uh, so most definitely, and I think that really does come by transparent. You know, it comes through transparency. It comes through by what you're doing. And what I've noticed is just from me doing wholesaling is that, you know, people want you know, they want the houses to be uh, fixed up. They want the houses in the neighborhood to, to go good. They want a nice safe area because if you have too many rundown houses, vacant houses, things like that, all that does is bring danger to the neighborhood. You have squatters, you have, uh, you know, people who like to use them for drugs and things like that. And, y you know, no one wants that around their kids. It really doesn't, you know? So if you literally buy it or wholesale it to an investor who's going to fix it up and then rent it out and put a nice family in there, the whole neighborhood's behind you, you know? And when I go to a new house, say in Detroit, where I'm wholesaling the property, okay? Uh, and when I'm going there, I'm wholesaling it and I talk to, I talk to some of the neighbors sometimes. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Things like that. And hey, this is what we're doing and working with investors to to see about fixing up the neighborhood. And and they're thanking me, you know. And now while I have this property under contract, I'm getting their number. And I've had people, hey, did you know that somebody's over at that house right now? You know? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that, that's one of my contractors. I sent them over there. Or if I didn't send anybody over there. Oh crap. Thanks for letting me know. I got to get there and, and make sure there's right. nobody stealing anything, you know? Right. <laughs> so, right. so getting to know the neighborhood and the neighborhood liking you really helps. So I got to, got to give a good shout out to my man, Khalif Williams over there. He's, he's, yeah, he's on YouTube watching. I, he, he put those fire emoji emoji there, you know, love them. Uh, he's actually one of my one of my friends that I do a lot of JV deals with, so I'm happy to be, be with them. So now, um, so tell me what you guys are. So that's kind of how you got started. A little bit of what you're doing now. Uh, kind of tell me more about this event that's going to be on Saturday in your guys' words. I, I've gone on about it a little bit on, on what I think it's going to be there. So tell me a little bit about the structure or what we're going to see at the event um, so that we can get a little bit more excited, get more excited about it. Uh, Wendy. <laughs> so our event that we are having this Saturday it's mm -hmm. going to be simply amazing. We have some serious heavy hitters that's coming in, and I am super excited. I'm super excited about the team that's on its way here. And Got so we're going to go down there, plan, and set up everything for this Saturday. Um, yep. But to give you a little tidbit, if you have a deal and you need some funding, you definitely need to be in the building. You need to bring your deal there. And we have some funders that's flying in to um, possibly assist you with your deal, if it's feasible and stuff. Um, that's what they're flying in for. So again, if you are a contractor, somebody want to get into real estate, if you're a realtor, you definitely want to be at our event. It's our first event here as far as um, putting the Real Beers Expo. It's our first event here. And we will okay. start doing it every year. So in each year, we're going to have different um, people. Maybe some will return, but it's going to be a really, really nice event. We got an a, a, a awesome lineup. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody um, coming out to our event. 
So how is it going to be set up? Is it more of like a round table or is it more like uh, in different rooms set up? And I know me and Lyric talked a little bit about it, but I'm trying to tell everybody out here about it. So, um, you know, how we're going to come into the event. Are we, are there going to be different booths set up, different places, things like that? Yeah. I could jump in on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're going to be yeah. Okay, sorry, I, I didn't hear you at all, so say that again. I just heard yeah. Right, so we're gonna have one main room, the main ballroom, okay. crystal ballroom of Double Tree. Yeah, the, the main stage. Oh, can you hear me okay now? Yep, yep. So we're gonna have the main stage, presentations, talks. You know, just different things that are going with different speakers for the first half. And then there'll be networking in between. And then okay. afterwards, there's going to be what we call real estate table talks, where people will be able to go around and sit at each table where the speaker mm -hmm. at the table will be able to present and interact and answer questions on the topic that they're on. Each table will be labeled wholesaling, funding, uh, title, business credit, all those different labels. And you rotate every yep. 20 minutes to sit with someone different so you can be able to ask your questions. About eight people to a table, maybe nine. Uh, and it's just okay. going to be just, just mayhem information, a lot of synergy, a lot of intimate exchange where people can get where people can get in the, um, you know, right, like really get into it because what the actual speaker is saying versus it being so presentation like that you leave out of there with information overload. I want you know, people will be able to write notes in their booklet. Everyone's going to be given yep. a program guide so they can actually write okay. notes inside the program guide as they're talking to people and things of that nature. That's awesome. So, and, and just to let everybody else know, I'm going to be there, uh, talking about, uh, wholesaling, beginning wholesaling and things like that. And anybody who does show up and is interested in that, um, uh, I'm giving away a, a few of my contracts for people to start. So beginning wholesaling, I'm giving away uh, a purchase agreement and an assignment agreement okay uh those are the two main things that you're gonna need uh when you're starting so i'm giving those away to people uh who are interested and um you know who is going to be at the event only the people that's going to be at the event so absolutely awesome that's so awesome. yeah so with that we are gonna have uh, you know, it's more, it sounds like it's going to be more of a big room, people getting to know each other. And the biggest thing that I want to emphasize to people is, is this is where you network and you meet the people, because even if you don't have a deal now, you meet yeah. the people, you talk to them and you get to know what the people are there, that what their buying criteria are what they're looking for so that when you come across a deal, you can think of them first. And in sometimes you don't even have to do any marketing. You just yep. sell it straight to them, you know? Yep. So coming from somebody who's done that quite a few times, it, it, it's really nice when you don't have to worry about the, the buyer um, when you're coming on the sales part. So, um, yep. you know, I, I really, really think about that. Now, network with different people, get to know everyone has different areas uh, that they're experienced in. I think the biggest, the biggest selling point of this is, is this, is if you have deals that need funding, I mean, and you can bring them there and get funding, like it's crazy. Bring them there, pitch your deals, okay? Pitch your deals. We talked to the Kevin yesterday, who is one half of the, the funding partner. I, uh, you know, unfortunately, Damien Damien had some 
uh, you know, technical difficulties getting on the show. So we were only talking to Kevin, but, uh, you know, they're there to listen to the deals and see if they can help you fund them, you know, and that's what they're coming in. And if you can get that, like, that's the hardest thing is to find funding in our area. Okay. Because a lot of people have minimums, you know, and you know, they have like a 50,000 or a hundred thousand dollar minimum. And when you're talking about me and Wendy, were talking about on the other day where she bought her house for $12,000, you know, like it's crazy. Where in the country can you buy a house for $12,000? Well, here right. in Detroit, you know, exactly. and you know, so when you have a house that well, you know what? We need to pay twelve, fifteen thousand dollars for, and it needs about seventy-five thousand dollars worth of work, and the ARVs are about one fifty. Uh, a lender is going to lend on that all day long, you know. So, you know, that's where you're gonna you're gonna look into this, and that's where this expo here is gonna come in handy for anybody who wants to join, who wants to go in. Um, so. You know, tell me, let's go through the team and tell me a little bit about what your guys' role in the team and what you guys do. Um, so we'll start off with, um, let's start, we'll go backwards. We'll start off with Raven first. Um, well, hello again. This is T. Raven Harris Dixon out of Central Ohio. I sit in the chair of the management and I'm also on the events team. Awesome. Awesome. And, and what, so you're on the chair sitting on the events team. So you're help putting on the events as well as your help, or you help do that program that you were talking about earlier as well? Yes. Okay. Awesome. And then let's hear from uh, Madrid that's right next to you as well. <laughs> Miranda. Miranda. I am so sorry. I'm horrible with names, by the way. Sorry about that. Um, I am the administrative consultant, so I assist with uh, network members, uh, clients. Uh, I assist with all events as well. Okay, that that's awesome. All right, and let's go to Wendy. Hello, everybody. My name is Wendy Barber, and we have our two Excel office here in Southfield, and I help put on events as well. And I run the two Excel office that we have in Southfield, which we're gonna be putting on different events there starting next month. We're gonna have several monthly meetings there in Southfield and other locations as we grow. I, I can't wait to be there. Um, you know, we have a, there's another Southfield meetup that we go to. It's the first Tuesday of every month. It's uh, um, Renegades. Okay, I've so, been there before. Yeah. So that, that's an awesome place. Just just don't coincide it with that one. I, I have, to, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, I like that one, so. Okay. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. 